adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Welcome surprise, Mr. Parker. You haven't been up here in weeks. Which is a mistake I intend to rectify. Help me out of here. And now, gentlemen, we'll get down to business. Tracy is my office manager. I'll start with you. You've been with me how long? Almost five years now. And for you, Joe, you've been with me three years. That's right, boss. And, Lou, you first came to work for me a little more than two years ago. Two years and three months. As for you, Terry, you're a comparative stranger. You hired on as a driver two months ago because you fell in love with my daughter. Why, I... You deny you're in love with Pat? Well, no, no, sir. Well, then why don't you tell her so? You never get anywhere with her mooning around in silence. Now, gentlemen, after checking the essay reports of the last six weeks, I find that our shipments of gold quartz has dropped in value from $900 a ton to $325. Why? I wondered about that myself until Lou told me that the main vein was running thin. That's right, boss. It's showing up only in pockets. Gentlemen, I have prospected since I was 16. I'm considered quite an authority on mines and miners. And when the Parker mine with its main vein in the mother load suddenly starts to peter out, there's something funny going on. Somebody around here is doing a little high grading. Are you accusing us of stealing high grade ore? Gentlemen, the rock slide that crippled my legs, fortunately, did not damage my brain. I assure you, I'm going to get to the bottom of this thing very quickly. We'll go now, Terry. Thank you. snake, Terry. All the time he was eating his grub and sparking his daughter, you were stealing him blind. And when he found you out, you up and killed him. A man who couldn't defend himself. I didn't do it, I tell you. That sharp rifle wasn't yours, I suppose. And what about those ore receipts we found hidden in your bunk? Isn't it wonderful to get away from sheriffs, bandidos, bullets, and jails, and 
Ah, now we can take a long vacation. Oh, then we can sleep and sleep and sleep some more. <laughs> Anything your heart desires, Pancho. My heart desires a nice soft bed, and I hope they got one where we are going. Hey, where are we going anyhow? To Mountain View. Pancho, there is the Mountain View Hotel. Good morning, friends. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Mountain View Hotel. Thank you. I am Mr. Cathcart. Cathcart? At your service. We would like a room, please. And two beds. Nice soft beds with feather mattresses. Oh, you've come to the right place. We stuff our mattresses with peach fuzz. Peach fuzz? Oh, you mean the little feathers on the pitches? When you look for them, they end there? Oh, not really. But you'll think so. They're so soft. Sound nice, eh? And we would like two tubs of very hot water. Please leave everything to me. If you gentlemen make yourself comfy, I'll arrange everything. <laughs> oh, it's this cold. Look. Uh, oh, uh, this cold. Oh, Pancho just loved the rock. <laughs> it does feel good, Pancho. Ah, this guy has never been so happy in all my lifetime. Hey, look, look at those nice men over there. They don't chase nobody, nobody chase them. They just ride along. And look, Cisco, there is the jail. <laughs> nobody wants to lock us up. <laughs> Let him alone, he's my prisoner. Stop playing up to your job. The oh, law's got to run things. I'll get every last one of you with it. Oh. I'll tie him up. Oh, this, cool. this is the life. It's so nice and peaceful and quiet. Huh? Please, Pat, believe me. I didn't do it. Shut up, you killer. You can't go through with it, Tracy. I won't have it. Look, Pat, he's got to hang anyway. But this isn't a hanging, it's a lynching, and there's a big difference. It was my father he killed, and I want to see justice done more than any of you. But I want to see it done legally, by a judge, in court, and not by a lynching party. Sorry, Pat, I don't see it your way. Your dad was a good friend to all of us, and we aim to see that his killer don't escape the noose by a legal trick. Let's get on with it. Necktie, Joe. You got anything to say, Terry? Any last words? Nothing to you, Tracy. I wouldn't give you that much satisfaction. Okay, Lou. Just a warning. Drop your guns, all of you. Now get down off your horses. Do it or I kill you dead. Uh, 
Pancho, get the rope off his neck and get their guns. Thanks. I'm afraid you'll have to call off your party. Who are you? Why are you trying to save this no-good killer? It isn't important who I am, but I happen to hear what the girl said. That's the truth. The whole truth and everything but the truth. What she say, Cisco? She said it was a great difference between a hanging and a lynching. Lynching or a hanging? Yeah. When you're dead, you ain't alive. We are taking the prisoner with us. And when there is a judge in town and he has selected a jury of calm men, we'll return him, eh, Pancho? You say it, Cisco. I do it. You go ahead of us. I would advise you, gentlemen, not to get any foolish ideas. Pancho. Go get our guns. Francisco, where are I going to find the George? Pancho, you remember the town we went through yesterday? Yeah, well, we were going to stop, but we didn't, but we wish we had. Yes, and I want you to tell the judge what I told you to say to him. Then bring him back to the Mountain View Hotel. I'll meet you there. When? Now, repeat what I told you to say to him. Well, you were setting to me to tell the judge, <clears throat> Your Honor, the people of Mountain View, he's got a nice hotel with the beds all stuffed with peach fuzzes. No? No. Now listen closely, and I will tell you again. You say to the judge, Your Honor, there was an attempted lynching in Mountain View, and the sheriff tried very hard. Oh, I remember now. I will say to the judge, the people of Mountain View is lynching the sheriff. Come quick and... No, no, no. You lazy, easy, poke, sleepy head. Keep your mouth shut and your ears and eyes open and repeat what I tell you. Now. Now listen, you lazy, poke, easy, sleepy head. Shut your mouth and open your ears and eyes and listen to what I got to tell you, Your Honor. What? I... Oh, hey, please, Your Honor, it is Cisco's fault. He got me all mixed up. That isn't what I want to tell you. What I want to tell you was, uh, he told me to say to you that... Uh, what do you want? Well, well, Your Honor, the people of Mountain View, where they got a nice little hotel with the beds all stuffed with peach fuzzes, and they're going to lynch the sheriff and... Uh, lynch the sheriff? Yeah, they're going to they lynch the sheriff. Oh. I think you better get your hat and we'll hurry. Kid and Terry. Where? About two miles down the road. Get the other men, Joe. We'll meet you at the point. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's okay. Come on, Cisco. You better turn your prisoner over to us. If you want him, come and get him. Don't be crazy. We have no fight with you. But we're going to start one if you don't turn Terry over to us. Then start it. Keep me covered. to the other rock. Now get out in the open. Call your men and tell them to drop their guns when I can see them. Hurry. Joe, move. All of you. Come out in the open. Throw down your guns. Hurry up. You want to get me killed? Get your men and get out. And don't come back for your guns. They won't be here. Move. I'll be all right. You know, Terry, there's something that is not quite right about this. I have a feeling those people are afraid to let you stand trial. I've been trying to tell you that for a long time, but you wouldn't listen. I'm listening now, Terry. I would like to know what's happening. Where's Cisco? Where's the prisoner? Where's the sheriff? The sheriff, well, maybe is out chasing me. Then. What? Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's out chasing the fellow what... Took the fellow who was going to lynch the fellow what shot the fellow in the back. Well, anyhow, maybe you can give him an uh, honest, fair trial and hang him, huh? <laughs> he, here comes Cisco now. This is going to make everything very simply. Pancho! Pancho! Come here! Coming, Cisco. Now, just a minute. Uh, hey, excuse me, Judge, Your Honor. I, I will be right back. Pancho, get on your horse. Yeah, but the, the judge is here. I bring him like you say. I'm sorry, it was a wild goose chase. Yeah, that what the judge say. Pancho, the man is innocent. Go on, get on your horse. Where we go from here? We're going to pick up Terry and pay a visit to the stamp mill in the next town. Yeah, I might have known we don't get a chance to sleep in those nice peach pauses. Pancho? Uh, goodbye, Mr. Georges and Mr. Hotel people. Hurry up now, come on. Are they leaving again? Wait till I lay my hands on that man. Have you ever seen this man before? No, nope, can't say that I have. Has he ever sold you any high-grade ore? I just said I never saw him before. Say, what's this all about? Well, I told you, he's good. He's the wrong man. Let's go tell the sheriff. That won't be necessary. 
Seems like you, Pat, here, and I all had the same idea coming down here to check on those receipts. Well, when the sheriff told me he lost them from his desk during the lynching attempt, I thought there was something very funny about this whole business. Terry, I may have said some things to you that I shouldn't have said. Looks like you were framed after all. Let went just go and try those nice soft beds with the peach pauses. Yes, Pancho. But first we'll have to pay a visit to the Parker mine. Right, Sheriff? That's right. Goodbye, Pat. See you later, Pat. Goodbye. We're taking a big chance of you moving this high grade to another hideout. But if we're spotted... We're taking a bigger chance leaving it here with that Cisco on the loose. Yeah, I suppose so. They're coming after us! To the hanging, Mr. Tracy. I'm sure the state will be glad to oblige. Get on your horse. Oh, hello, Mr. Hotel people. <laughs> we are back again. So I see. But it won't do you any good. Twice, personally, I heated water for your tubs. Twice, personally, I arranged your beds. And when I turn my back, lo and behold, you're gone. I will not be subjected to such treatment a third time. We apologize, mister. Clear waste of breath. But we are very tired. We need rest. Yeah, we'd like to try out those nice soft beds where the peach fuzzes. Oh, please, senor. My mind is made up, gentlemen. And once it's made up, I... 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 I'll have everything ready in a minute. <laughs> oh, Cisco, this is the life. Eh? Nothing to do but to sleep and sleep and sleep. Hey, Cisco, Pancho. What's going on? I'm throwing a party and she wants you two to come along. And I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Gracias, senorita. But our feet are so tired from riding the horse back, we can hardly sit down. That's true. We are very tired. But Pancho... Pat is giving a party. We can't miss that. Yeah, but Pancho is willing, but the legs ain't. Oh, we'll fix that. Grab oh, a hole, Terry. I don't like that. <laughs> hey, Cisco, this is more easy than riding the horse back. <laughs> <laughs> Your bags are ready. No. No. They can't do this to me. I know what I'll do. I'll fix them. Even if it isn't Saturday night, I'll take the bath myself. Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs> 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 